Good morning, everybody. And welcome, Mr. Backhurst. This is your first appearance. Um, I just want to say to you, frankly, I think it's disgraceful that Mr. Lynch will come in and introduce emails that we have not received as a committee. And I just like that on the record. Yeah. It was bad enough the other day that we exclaimed having received 40 pages at 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning and our the total disregard that was shown to our committee secretariat that this could happen today. It, it's not, it doesn't bode well for the future. So I want to turn to Mr. Backhurst because Mr. Backhurst, you did a road show whilst we sat as a committee here on Tuesday with Ryan Tuberty and uh, Noel Kelly. You were given interviews. Um, during your interviews, Mr. Kelly's evidence to this committee was that he knew nothing of, uh, about the scheme to deceive, as Ms. Neeralik has, has termed it previously. He knew nothing about that scheme. So do you stand over your comments? Do you stand over your comments? Yeah, well, you stand over those comments. So Which Noel comments Kelly, in particular, Dr. Well, let me read it to you, because it was a news talk interview that mm -hmm. was later uh, documented, or I should say written by a journalist in The Independent, and it says, Mr. Backhurst made it clear that he held Kelly, along with some RT managers who had behave, behaved shamefully, responsible for the whole affair. Whether RTE, and this is quote, whether RTE is fully to blame, I'm not sure. I accept that. He said there were more than one party to the agreement. And I listened to the interview, and the interviewer asked you, are you talking about Noel Kelly? And you said yes. So you stand over those I comments. I stand over those comments 100%. Okay. There were two sides to this agreement, so, and one of them was RTE, and we have held our hands up. And, uh, you said yes, but yeah. is, are you telling me then in your view, Mr. Kelly lied to this committee? No, I'm not. All I'm simply saying is that there were two sides to this agreement, and but, I think we've seen that from the evidence you, sorry, we've put deputy. Mr. Sorry, Mr. Backhurst, yeah. you can't have it both ways. It's, it's, this needs to be clarified. You are stating clearly that Noel Kelly knew of the scheme to deceive entirely, in its entirety. That's not what I said, deputy. I said there were two sides to this but, agreement. But there's there's two there's three parties there are the two sides so let me tell you why your side doesn't appear to be credible because we have documentary evidence in a 40 page document that gives credibility to Noel Kelly's and Ryan Tuberty's version i'm afraid i haven't seen any or anyone in this committee hasn't seen any documentary evidence to support your claim. So can you tell me how you stand over comments that say Noel Kelly was fully aware of the scheme to deceive and that has been put out by Mr Lynch and others and their evidence is all in the blacks list. Deputy, that not I'm sorry, Deputy, you're putting words in my mouth here. I said there were two sides to this agreement. I did not say he was aware of some of the issues you just touched on. All I was asked was... Sorry, well, Mr Lynch this morning said that Mr. Kelly was aware that Reynold, uh, Mr. Lynch, I'll come to you, that Reynold were no longer sponsoring this deal. Are Reynold the current sponsors of RTE, the Late Late Show? They, D that's a very simple yes or no, I would Well, Renault course. have been the sponsor of the Late Late Show. Okay, I th so I up to, up sorry, Deputy, can I actually finish the answer? Well, that's, answer that's just a yes yeah. or no question. No, I'm, I'm Renault... trying to give it... No, I'm sorry. sorry just a yes or no question. Deputy, deputy, no, just, just give it... If you can answer it concisely. No, I can answer it concisely. I can, it that, takes that more than one word, Deputy. No, I'm afraid, Chair, I don't want to run down the clock. I'm simply asking. But, Chair, to be fair... I want to be fair. No, no, sorry. Well, I am being fair because we're hearing oral evidence... We have 40 pages of documented evidence that support witnesses who appeared here. We're now, he I'm asking a very simple question. Uh, uh, Mr. Are Reynolds currently, or have in the past, up to now, been the sponsors of RTE? And, I, want to, and I, I have to allow Mr. Backhurst well, to that's answer That's a yes or no answer. I know, he has been fairly concise in his answer, so in fairness. Thank you, Chair. Deputy, 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 I will try and make concise. They have been the sponsors of the late, late, uh, as I understand it, and Colin may add more to this. I think the contract for the next series is up for renewal. That's fine. But they were at no stage did the contract lapse as sponsors for the Late Late Show. I don't think it's lapsed. I think they've stuck, no, absolutely stuck it's to so what they agreed. So it's up for renewal. Yeah. yeah. So that's fine. No, so, sorry, Adrian, is, but, uh, do you want to, is that correct? I didn't, I, 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 that's all I need yeah, to okay, know. Okay. So the, the, 
but I have to go back on the basis that there is no documentary evidence to support what has been put forward by yourselves. You, you, can you tell me where the evidence documented is that you say Noel Kelly knew of how this scheme operated? Sorry, Deputy, I'd like to say again, I did not say that. I said there were two sides to this agreement. We've seen copious emails between RTE and Noel Kelly management, which demonstrate there were two sides to this agreement. why provided to the committee? Why couldn't you support the committee in understanding what your claim I'm was? I'm sorry, you asked me about what I said, and I'm saying I stand by what I said. There were two sides to this agreement. And I'm not saying that Mr Kelly was so in any... I'm sorry, I'm not saying that Mr Kelly was in any way to blame. I've, I've said that RTE, well, ex, RTE accepts well, sorry, the blame... Sorry now, Mr Backhurst, I'll just quote this for you again then. Whether RTE is fully to blame, I'm not sure I accept mm -hmm. that. The interviewer, you said there was more than one party. Mm -hmm. So you are blaming Mr Kelly. I'm, I'm saying we should accept the vast majority of the blame, but there were two sides to this agreement. Well, I put it this way. There, had to, there was certainly a number of parties. We have only supporting documents that supports evidence that's supporting in evidence what witnesses have said I'm here. I'm sorry, we don't. You have supporting documents that show there were two sides involved in negotiation here. No, that's I'm, I'm sorry. Saying. We have not seen the email that Mr Lynch has actually disgracefully read into the record that Deputy, we are... Deputy, I'm just going to allow Mr Lynch to answer this concisely. Thank you. Um, ju just to, I think it's important to clarify a number of things. One is that the late, late programme sponsorship is absolutely separate from the sponsorship. Of and the I am events. aware of that, Mr. Lynch. Can, I don't can, need that clarified. I, I don't can think I make, anybody else does. I, I want to make one other point because, just in terms of the language you're using around Noel Kelly, uh, this is very simple. And what I've explained, which is based on the evidence in front of me, Noel Kelly has a contract with RTE, which is underwritten by a verbal agreement, which is a complete legal agreement. Sorry, and sorry, Chair, I don't need to hear this. I just sorry. asked one I, question. I, I just think well, it's really, well, Mr. Lynch, it's very... if you want to answer a question, here it is. Yeah. Where have you documented an email that has told Noel Kelly that Renault are no longer paying this 75000 It's in the Grant Thornton report in terms but, of... But Jeremy hold on Aries. now, the Grant Thornton report was only... That was only done. Where, at this point in time, when you at the last meeting said that Noel Kelly was fully aware that Renault were no longer paying. You've mentioned an email there. So where have we seen an email to Noel Kelly that says RTE made him aware? Yeah, so Deputy, could I just ask you to move your mic a little bit to the uh, to left? It's causing a problem with the sound yeah. carrying it, apparently. Thanks. Move sorry. it to the left? No, no, you're grand. As I'm looking at it to the left. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's all right. So, Mr Lynch. Yeah. So Do we have, have we, have we documentary evidence that RTE informed Noel Kelly that Renault were no longer going to be paying? So when Grant Thornton uh, began to investigate the two invoices, they spoke to all the relevant people. Yeah, Geraldine O'Leary was very clear about the fact the documentary evidence that has been provided is the tripartite agreement. Sorry, sorry. So, I'm sorry, sorry there, there is a that's contract not, with two dates in it. It starts on October the 20th, no. and it ends on December the 31st. It was completely Mr. Lynch, I'll just evident, ask sorry, from the testimony deputy, from Geraldine O'Leary, that there was no further six events. There was no conversation sorry. had with Rena. I think that's... No, I, I think that's... We haven't seen any evidence of that. That's what you're telling me. I yes. have seen no email that says that the assertion up to now by RTE, who conceived the scheme? You're the, talking about the tripartite agreement. I am. Yeah, so the, the, I think the first um, uh, document on file is from December 2019. There's an offer there from uh, Breed O'Keefe, copied to the lawyer, which has 420, which wasn't the deal in the end, plus 75. The genesis of the scheme, I don't know, Breed O'Keefe well, is I think unsure we, about I it. I think there's one thing we do know, <coughs> now, not to interrupt can, you at all, Mr Lynch, but what I, we do uh, know finish, is... Sure. Just, well, finish, just, but, just finish briefly. Yeah. Just to say, the, obviously the agent has said that these are two separate agreements. Yes, we, that's yes, not yes, in yes, contest. Yes, uh, uh, yeah, yes, we know the agent came back and insisted continually that the sponsorship agreement would be underwritten for the duration of the contract. 
thereby, the tone, thereby conjoining right, well, both. I'm sorry, so the Mr. Idea Lynch, that Mr. Two Lynch separate if, agreements, if you do, excuse me, and, and Chair, to be fair, I did not get a fair hearing there. Mr. Lynch has ran down the clock, and I need to ask no, another question. Up, just, if you want to ask a question well, briefly. Well, I, I think yeah. the reality no, here is that please. Mr. Lynch has made a statement, but we know from the tone of the emails that we've seen documented by the previous witnesses that Breda O'Keefe came in and gave the impression that everybody in RTE was opposed to underwriting that agreement, that that was absolute everybody. I'm afraid that's not the evidence we have on record, and RTE has not counteracted that, and neither does Mr. And Backhurst. And report and recommendations from this committee, and you will have... I know that you will. Uh, well, I, I, I think that. it should be on the record that yes. there isn't an ounce of credibility to back That's up fine. what either of these witnesses mm -hmm. are, be, are saying. I accept a lot of what you're saying there. Uh,